What do you think about when you hear the word edge or edgy? Our minds jump to something dark and gloomy along the lines of Spawn or Dirty Harry. Now let me ask you, does the lighthearted Sonic the Hedgehog fit in that department? No, but he was never meant to. For me, there are two interpretations of edge, good edge and bad edge. Bad edge is when you envelop yourself in negativity, and that comes with the baggage of a few bleak qualities. You're obsessed with vengeance, you give the impression that you hate yourself, and you're willing to resort to violence instead of reason. Certain characters can pull this off to look badass, but for the most part, it seems you're trying way too hard to look cool. On the other side of the coin, good edge is when you live a life of positivity with an infectious confidence. On the outside, you look like you're only interested in having fun, but deep down, there's a heart of gold in you. You genuinely want to help others, and your exuberant personality makes everyone feel happy and safe. Rescuing people with a smile on your face or a snappy quip gives them a warm assurance that everything's gonna be alright. This is where Sonic feels right at home. He's a perfect example of good edge while throwing a unique spin on it, giving his signature edge. Sonic is a high-spirited teenager who wants to make every day the best of his life. He loves traveling, snowboarding, learning a new skill, you name it. His confidence and self-motivation has no limits. He wants to do something exhilarating, he'll do it. Despite his drive to live like a teenager, he's as heroic as you can get. He undeniably cares about people. If danger calls, he won't hesitate to save others. Being a teenager, his rebellious lifestyle can't be ignored. And by rebellious, I don't mean anarchy. The positive kind of rebellious. Do the right thing, even when you're told not to. Hey, what's the matter? Are you lost or something? <laughs> a great big dragon attacked my village! A dragon? It took my mommy, and my daddy, and everybody away! You know where the dragon is, kid? It's in the big cave, at the bottom of that mountain! Alright, I'm on it. Wait, don't tell me you're going off to slay a dragon now! Yes, we are! What of the ladies' tests? You will never make it in time. Yeah, maybe, but I play by my own rules. Remember that. You fool. Hang in there, kiddo. I'll get your folks back. He's impetuous, going by his own rules and doing things his way, no matter what anyone says. Here's something I noticed recently. Sonic as a character doesn't change. There are a bunch of characters that develop and go through arcs, but Sonic's the same kid since day one. He does, however, inspire other people to change. Everyone becomes braver, wiser, more independent. I mean, look at the one-shot characters in the 2000s. Shara, Chip, Merlina. They're different in their endings compared to their introductions. Totally Not Mark made a video on Goku studying his flat character arc. Goku's largely the same, lovable man-child who doesn't stray too far from the way he was since the beginning. However, he has influenced characters to develop. Sonic is like that too. His contagious high self-esteem and positive edgy disposition affects almost everyone around him. This is why he makes for a perfect central character, and his signature edge contributes to this franchise's world so much. This is Sonic's world, and everybody's along for the ride. The Color Zero games, surprise surprise, don't get his character. In these installments, Sonic barely has any energy. He lazily stands around making unfunny jokes. I know, he's a snarky teenager, but you can't do the bare minimum by giving him a witty remark with no action. He's not cool, he's annoying and lame. On top of that, he only affects one character, the mute avatar in Sonic Forces. These games, prior to Forces, prided themselves at being a perfect fit for little kids. But the way Sonic was pre-2010s made for a good role model for children. Be confident, tackle your problems head on, go snowboarding like you always wanted to. Don't shy away from learning something new or getting out of your comfort zone. You have only one life, so live to the fullest. This is what separates Sonic from the more traditional video game protagonists like Mega Man, Simon Belmont, and of course Mario. Sonic's signature edge is his ultimate power. It pushed him to be the best of himself at a young age, and it continues to change the world around him. That's how he rules. He's Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog.